Okay, how to make an infinity symbol. This was a question on the forum. And I will see if I can show you how to do this. I'm going to make a circle. Put my finger on the screen so it becomes a perfect circle. And then release the stylus and re release my finger. By the way, I am using the hard brush that I showed you how to create. And it is at 8%. And we'll go through that again. Draw your ellipse. Finger down to make it a perfect circle. Release the pencil. Release your finger. And then we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to move a copy all the way over to this side. I'm not too concerned as to where these are yet. We're going to go up a layer. And I'm going to turn on the drawing guide and set this to drawing assist. And then I'm going to make a line going up and down. And then I can turn the drawing guide off, turn off the assisted drawing. And I've got snapping. I've got magnetics and snapping both turned on. So every time you move this it's going to go 15 degrees let's go to 45 degrees and I am going to group all these together so I can duplicate it and do this more than one way so now I've got this 45 degree bar which I will now flip horizontal Sorry about that. Duplicate it and flip it horizontal. And now we take our bar here and we're going to snap it to the middle. And of course these are getting in the way. There we go. Now let's take this circle and we're going to snap it to the center going up and down. And we'll take this circle and we're going to snap it to the center going up and down. And then we're just going to reduce the opacities. So that I can now tap this over onto the right. Until these lines meet. Looks like we need a couple more taps. Very good. And then I will do the same thing with this circle. And very good. Now we're going to merge the two circles down after we bring the opacity up. And we'll do the same thing with our two little lines here. So now we have a layer one and a layer three. Make the opacities at 50%. Because now what we want to do is get rid of the stuff that we don't need. So I'm on layer 3, which is where our big X is. I'm going to use my eraser. Let's set that into airbrushing, hard brush, and make it large enough to work. And you see, I just simply get rid of this part of the X, both top and bottom. Went too far there. 
looks like that circle may not be in the right place. Let's turn the snapping and magnetics off for this. There we go. Now they'll match up well enough. And we just get rid of all the extra stuff there. And now we go to our circle layer and we do the same thing. We just need to get rid of these parts here. And I went too far on the... Oh. I am actually going to be a perfectionist. and move this circle myself. It's perfect there. And it is perfect there. Okay. Let's get rid of the X. Just this part of it until it meets the circle. And just this part of it until it meets the circle. Do that on all four corners. There we go. Then we go to the circle layer. We do the same thing. Just until the two meet. And we change our opacity back to the top, and it looks like I didn't quite get all of this one, or I must have accidentally did an undo. Probably accidentally did an undo. There. I'll pass these all the way back up, merge those down, and there's your infinity symbol. Now, if you don't consider that to be a good infinity symbol, and some people prefer it to be a little bit more narrow, we simply tick this one more t rotation. Don't forget to turn the snapping back on there, Ken. There you go. And then we'll duplicate that and flip it horizontal. And then we can merge those two down and change the opacity. Let's take this one and we need to match it on to that X. Let's center the X so that we have a little bit more room to work with. Take a look. That matches okay. That matches okay. And then we do the same thing with this circle. Well, if you can't get that one, then delete it. Take these two. And let's go ahead and erase this part here. There we go. Merge those down. Duplicate it. Flip it horizontally. Let 
match them up. And of course, check your work. Perfect. And merge it down. So here you have a short infinity symbol, and here you have a long infinity symbol. So whichever way it is you consider to be the best infinity symbol, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and you have a wonderful day.